Ladies and gentlemen, a good morning to you. Hope you are well. Another video brought to you by Rib. I'm on the wrong with it. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to how to start a life server for using the Altis Life Framework. Um, so a Armor 3 life server on your dedicated server. So we're on Windows Server 2012. Uh, I'm not going to be able to install a couple of things from scratch because I'm, I'm showing you on my Australian live server what to do. So first things first there's a couple of things you're going to need. One being XAMP. XAMP handles your the connections to the databases and files that are etc. So you need to get XAMP and I'll probably let me yeah, so I was looking at the Tyreek uniforms there. I'll show you the link you need. I'll put it in the description. XAMP this is it here. So download this guys once downloaded, download here. Excuse my little boy in the in the background with his mother. Uh, so download. Once it's downloaded, install. If you haven't a, you might have an er error with your firewall or something. So make sure you go and disable your firewall and user account, etc. And when it's started, it will look like this. Oh, no, it won't. It will look like this. Okay, and then you install each of these, just clicking on them. And files that will hopefully install. If it doesn't, uh, make sure you go and yeah, turn off your firewall, check your firewall, uh, check your user account control settings, make sure everything's on. Never or don't 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 alert me. So yeah, when you've got them all running, just minimise that. Okay, next thing you're going to need is Navcat. I'm using Navcat Lite. Same again. You can get it off the just a good old Google Navcat Navcat this is what you need, this is what's going to store the database and all the database information Navcat products downloads, this is the one, this is the website, yep here we are this is Navcat, so you need Navcat you need XAMP that's just a simple install so install Navcat next thing you're going to need is Steam CMD same as again, Google's your best friend, Steam CMD. As you can see, I've already been on all these links. Steam CMD. Where's download? Download Steam CMD for Windows here. So download Steam CMD. And what you want to do, guys, is create. Go into your C drive. C drive and create a Armor 3 folder. Right, in this Armor 3 folder, put the Steam CMD. Okay. Open up Steam CMD, and it'll install a few folders in here, and it'll bring up a screen to log in. Okay. I don't want to do it in case I ruin any of my uh, my um, setup. So let's just go on this just for an example. When it's done the installing, it's just got the little like it's just I think it's from memory. It's just like that. Oh. So now what you want to do is go login space your name space your password which obviously mine is an armor 3 and it does show you the passwords if you're sitting next to someone or something okay so then it will log you in hopefully you might have a steam guard and go check your email to put in the code it will give you a code blah blah blah, blah put the code in and once you're in happy days so what you need to do now is type if you go to here we're looking for the app update code this here it's exactly as it appears there so you'd put that and you'd press enter and now what this is doing it's connecting to your steam profile obviously you've got after armor 3 and it's downloading armor 3 to the server for you so then if you run into back into this folder after it's done ins installing go into your steam apps common common armor 3 server and voila you'd have your armor 3 directory would be here there's a few files here that you won't have because obviously I've got inf infrastructure and a few other things here and there and you won't have any of these because you'll be pretty default and ready to rock and roll okay so that would be your the server side of things ready for our next step uh, XAMP is running, FileZilla is running, etc. So all your database stuff's running. 
uh, navcat let's open up navcat navcat what you need to do here in this section right click new connection and then you need to don't have to do it should we go on a different I could try and no yeah create a, you need to create a user I don't think that does let you do it first no it doesn't so you need to create a new connection MySQL connection name uh, test localhost no password just click OK OK now with this here I'll double click and here's your your users so my user main user is going to be Hayden so you could go to new user which we will do anyway username test host localhost password we leave blank confirm password we leave oh no no what we're going to use is Hayden 3 Hayden 3 okay advanced server privileges click all these click them all and click save okay I don't actually want any of this so you've got your user set up with all these privileges etc then click right click execute file SQL file and then what you need to do is execute the armor 3.3.1.4 SQL file that I'll supply in the description then just keep going start 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 and your database will be set up and it will look like this this is my existing one armor 3 life tables except you'll have gangs houses players and vehicles etc okay so that'll be the database sorted the server side setup sorted uh, yeah XAMP sorted XAMP is sorted a few things you need now to run the server right we'll, we'll use my Aussie life as an example I'm using a running a modded server so in this section here first of all you're gonna need TADST it's the trophy armor I can't remember what it stands for but if you are onto armorholic and just type in TADST it'll be one of the top uh, searches armorholic trophies armor dedicated server tool that's what it is so just download that extract it and put this file the, the application into the armor 3 server into your main armor 3 directory okay we'll come to that back back to that in a sec you're going to need another few files which I will supply for example this memory file DLL is the tbb malloc .dll. okay I think it was XAMP as well if you have a pro problem with the uh, audio 3. Dot something DLL then just make sure you install the latest DirectX etc uh, redistributable packages for Windows servers etc a little Google you soon find them uh, you need exdb config in this section is where you'll put your password for your database so where I'd put for an example on the test Hayden 3 that's where you'd put that in here if you well whatever password you used uh, there's a few sections make sure you find them and then of course the main priorities is your live server and your at exdb so make sure you've got them for the 3.148 framework is what we're example using as an example using as an example um, right and I'll just tell you what these others are to run my map uh, to run my mission this is a mod pack all in armor terrain pack Australia's mod pack Infostar is my anti-hack Aussie life is actually my mod pack that I put together task force radio is what we use to communicate CBA is the community based add-ons needed for task force and quite a few things and we also have a user config folder down here but you probably only got to have a couple of depending on what server you're going to run if it's lakeside you'll have your own lakeside folder which has got the lakeside files in it as well as you'll be using task force radio and cba uh, if it's takistan for instance you'll have all in armor terrain pack you'll have your own tacky folder with all of your mods uh, you'll have task force you'll have cba no doubt but yeah i'm running in australia so your mission file uh, the mp mission would go in here and that's pretty much what's ready to talk about TADST so open up, run like I say you might have a little error opening one of these if you, depending on how new your server is and etc 
you might have to install some DirectX and stuff. Uh, so basically, put the title to your server, the admin password for the Archon if you're using your Archon, uh, password if you want to put a password on the server, port by default mine to 2302, uh, select the armor3.xa, armor3 server.xa in your armor3 directory, so that's uh, selected from in here. There it is. That's his mother telling Scott off. Uh, next one. Rules, obviously, we've got the battle eye. Missions. Refresh if it's not there. That's that mission I just showed you in the MP missions. Mods. So then I need to select all these that I am using to run this map. All in armor terrain pack. Australia. CBA. Task Force Radio. Aussie Life. At Live Server. And at e EXDB are compulsory anyway with Altus Life Framework, uh, etc which is more or less what every server out there uses in Armour 3 RPG. So yeah, then click launch. You might want to save those settings, click launch. So if we click launch, oh, we've already got a server running. Indeed we have. So that'll be it guys. That is it from start to finish. Sorry I couldn't actually install the programs with you at the time, but yeah. I don't want to ruin my current installation. And I did try on my other server, but it wouldn't even open if I show you. I've got about three servers. Uh, I won't go into it actually. But yeah, that's it, guys. Happy days. What I'll do, because obviously you don't want to start in Australian, because there's loads of fi files and folders to it. Use this video as an example, but I will supply the files to start a Chinaris life. Okay? Obviously, you can use whatever you want. You change this with Altis Life. Uh, or whatever. Late if you're going to like I say if you're going to use your Lakeside, then just wait a couple of days and you can use. Uh, that I'm bringing back out an older video because my old Lakeside mission was pretty awesome. So yeah, that's how you just replace the mission in the Epic Mission Cache. So I hope it's been helpful, guys. Peace out. Name's Reb. Like and subscribe. See you again. Adios.